next uh, Sunday, October 21st, is the mattress sale. Again, the goal is to get and raise you know, over $15,000 for uh, the program. You know, last year, again, we did, uh, we made a little over 10,000. And you know, with that, you know, we purchased a new base and did about $1,000 worth of rehearing and um, repairs to um, you know, the cellos and some other orchestra instruments. You know, so it does really go to the betterment of the whole program, all right? So we want to try to raise that bar this year and get that excitement. We have a huge program, like over 200 kids, so uh, it's going to be very viable. So again, this is kind of you know, part of the, well, the joys of the job uh, is fundraising, but it's part of the necessary thing as the as our program keeps growing. Uh, we want to make sure we have working in good instruments, good sounding instruments uh, for the group, so you know, everyone sounds good. Okay, so we want working instruments in all areas. So. Um, so Tony's back uh, from, you can probably remember him from the, uh, last year or the, uh, the collage concert. So he's just gonna spend some time and talk about how we can get the, some excitement and kind of spread the word. Um, and also how you can earn, you know, get, earn some money or get, get lucky and earn some money um, or get money uh, for that. So um, make sure you're a good audience. And again, when you ask a question, please respond for that. That would be awesome. All right. How are you? Hey, how are you? Good. 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 See, it's so funny when I came yesterday for the first hour. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's good to see you guys. So, how's school year going so far? I sounded like nervous laughter right there. No, oh, awesome. So, um, you guys all were kind of part of this last year, right? Yeah. And we don't have any freshmen. So, pretty much everybody was part of the mattress sale. Anybody in here saw the mattress last year? A few. Okay. Um, so, like Mr. Melhorn said, you guys, it, it went really well last year. You guys were one of our, our top five groups last year. So, uh, it was fantastic. They just uh, kind of knocked it out of the park. So, I want to ask you guys, though, why do you think that happened? Why do you guys think you guys were so good? They don't just say, like, oh, we were good. That was cool. Okay. Because you talked to so many people about it? Because you talked to so many people about it. Okay. What kind of people did you talk to about it? Who do you get mattresses? So I heard something Relatives. Here. Relatives, yes, okay. So the people that got somebody in, who did you get in? Did Who got in mom and dad and actually bought a mattress just for their house? Somebody besides mom and dad. Who did you get that wasn't mom and dad? Okay, so like you brought it up at church. Okay, and then you just found somebody that needed a mattress at church. Okay, so yeah, but mom and dad helped. Okay, how about over here? Okay, your brother, so it's a direct family anyway. Okay, so cool. So like, here's the here's the thing about first year to second year. Okay, so we'll we'll have fundraisers. You know, we're in some cases. Okay, that's how we're gonna do it. Um, so as weird as mattress fundraisers sound, it's kind of catching on. I mean, you guys proved it worked really well. Um, but the uh, we'll with you know we do forty events. So uh, sometimes we're in a brand new school um, any given week, but a lot of times it's their second, third, or fourth, or ninth event. So some of them go, some of them get better, okay, than they did the first year. Because a lot of people are like, okay, I thought this was really weird at first. I'm not really comfortable talking to other people about this crazy mattress sale. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of see how it works. And you guys didn't do that really last year. Now, there is 200 of you, and we sold a lot of mattresses, but we only sold 68 or 69, okay? Which is still really good above averages. But with 200 of you, and the, the goal is, what, what do you guys do for this fundraiser? What's your most important part of it? You guys remember? Advertise. Advertise. What did you say? Get the word out. Get the word out, okay. Get more specific. So advertise is exactly right, but more specifically. Okay, who, more specifically, who do you advertise to? People looking for their mattress, everyone. Okay, so people you know, right? So it's like, you know, a lot of people, when, it, when they hear about it and they see all the prizes, because the prizes are cool and everything, they think, oh, I'm gonna take a big stack of flowers and I'm just gonna go sit outside of a PT, right? And we're just gonna pat, and then I talk to a ton of people, right? Okay, does that really connect with people the same way? No. Okay, so you, you believe more people you, you know as far as something's a good idea or a good deal, right? So that's the whole goal of this. Now, you guys, 
most of the people you talk to every day are, are your peers, right? Okay, you know, you might interact with aunts, uncles, moms and dads, brothers, you know, maybe mom and dad help you from church and things like that. So, but guess who, guess who talks to people all the time and by mattresses? Yeah. That's your mom and dad, right? So your mom and dad probably, at work, how many people do you think they interact with throughout the day? And sometimes they might, you know, if they're in the office, they probably interact with dozens of people, right? Okay, and and they'll have their close work friends and stuff like that, or neighbors throughout the day, people that you know, they're they're running errands, whatever, and they talk to somebody and people that they know, but it's it's their friends. I mean, you think about it, you text your friends all the time, right? Okay, your mom and dad text their friends a lot too, don't they? Yeah. Okay, or they're talking to their brothers or their sisters or you know their parents or whatever. So that's kind of what this thing's all about, is to make sure that they're talking to people that they know as much as you guys are talking to people you know. Now it's awesome if you guys can sit there and bring it up and say like, I know this is weird, but we're doing the mattress sale again. It was really actually successful last year. We raised over $10,000 as a group, which some people are like, holy cow. You raised $10,000 in one day? Are you kidding me? Okay, so it, that's an attention getter right by itself, isn't it? Okay. So, and, and that's, and the, the biggest, most important meeting we have is that meeting where we did, where you guys did your, um, well, what do you call that, Mr. Melhorn, the first concert? Uh, homecoming collage. The homecoming collage. collage. Okay, so, and then all your parents came, and then we hand them out all the materials and the flyers, and that's where you're supposed to start just talking about it. But like, I, I, like Mr. Melhorn was saying the other day when I was here, it's like, we're, we're less than two weeks out, so it's time to kind of like focus on it, right? It's time to go nuts on it. And just let people know about it. So, and you guys are junior seniors mostly? Yeah. Some sophomores? Okay. So you guys are like the leaders this year. Okay. So you got to kind of, you know, blaze the trail. So everybody's job, and, and the, you guys, the biggest thing here is you guys have the power numbers. Okay. Our average group we work with is probably 75 to 100 people. Okay. As far as in the group, you guys have over 200. All right. And what if everybody just did the one thing? Okay, and this is, if you guys think about what's my job for this fundraiser, what do I have to do with the Mr. Melhorn off my back? Okay, just find one person to come through the door. Okay, that's it. You don't have to sell it, right? You don't have to collect money. I don't make you carry mattresses on your back for these neighborhoods. Okay, so even though your parents might love that. All right, but no, it's really just to make sure you find somebody you know, whether you have mom and dad's help, whether it's you know somebody you know really well, like a friend's parent or an aunt or an uncle or something, but to make sure each and every one of you find at least one person to come through. They don't have to come in to buy. They just have to come look, right? If you get them through the door, the rest will take care of itself because we're really good about how we take care of people when they come in. They don't feel pressured, okay? They get a lot of knowledge and uh, experience people lead them through you know, which bed they want or which bed they need. You don't come in if they don't need a bed, right? 90% of them usually end up buying a bed if they want it. All we gotta do is be like that, okay? So, your guys' number one job is what again? <laughs> one, right, okay? Everybody get one. Now, I want, so a lot, several people in here found somebody that got a mattress, okay? Who, and, and you can be honest with me, who really tried last year, okay? And like, and when I say really tried, I mean, let's say you talked at least five to 10 people. You didn't just talk to like one or two, but you talked to five or 10 people and you didn't find somebody that came and bought mattress. Can you just be honest? Yeah? Okay. So talk to, and, and what do most people say? Most people think it was weird. Most people are just like, we don't really need one right now. Something of that, that effect. Anybody look at you like you guys Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's good. That means most people in the room, the microphone, they just like weird. All right. But I want you guys to think about something. Okay. Because really, honestly, if you guys talk to five to 10 people, all right, and I, I mean, literally, just commit to that as, as your one job. Talk to five to 10 people that you know pretty well about this fundraiser. And I'm not talk, saying, like, talk to your friends right here, okay? Talk to five to 10 people that would actually come and shop to buy a mattress, right? All right, but if you think about that, I, I, I want to prove something to you. Think about your mattress, okay? Like, literally, put yourself back in bed right now. I mean, all of you would be in bed, okay? So, but think about it. Maybe you love your bed, maybe you don't like your bed, uh, but you know, just think about it. Think about when you crawled into bed last night, you know, where your stuff is, all that type of stuff. Everybody here still sleeps with stuff, doesn't it? Okay, 
okay? <laughs> My name is Travis. Okay? I have an 18 year old kid, and you're probably never going to get to meet him, so I get to bust him. Okay? He literally sleeps with his baby blanket that he still has. Okay? Any of you guys do that? It's cool if you do. Okay? So, no kidding. All right? So, but anyway, the point being is think about your bed. All right? Now, I want you to imagine something. You get home from school today, okay? Chill out, get a snack, homework, whatever. Maybe you uh, you're, you guys have dinner, talk to mom and dad, things like that. Play your instrument, right? Because you get to practice all the time. Okay? <laughs> so, but let's say it's bedtime, okay? You're, you're, you're ready to crawl bed again. Now, let's imagine there's a brand new bed sitting there with you. Okay, one that you got to pick out. One that you got to shop for. Okay? Maybe you want that cloudy, just feels like you're you know, laying in a cloud bed. Maybe you've got Tempur-Pedic style memory foam mattress, that's what you always want. Or maybe it's just hard as a rock, whatever it is that you like. But I want you to pretend it's a forget helicopter for today. Okay? And just by show of hands, who likes the sounds of that? Okay, raise them up really high for me. You guys look around for just a second. That is almost all of you, okay? Now, here's the thing, okay? That's kind of a, a and I do it on purpose, it, it, it's, a, it's a drastic example. But the national number, you guys, is 50% of the population of the U.S. doesn't like their current mattress. Do you guys agree that's true? Look at you guys, okay? You're like, oh, I don't really like my mattress. I put a new one right now, okay? So 50% don't like their current mattress, but only 10% buy new mattress. So that 40% is sitting there putting it off, right? They put it off, and they put it off, and they put it off, all right? My question is why? Why in the world, how much time do you guys spend in your beds? <laughs> After your time, okay? It's about eight hours, the average, okay? I'm just speaking averages for the most part in stats because stats are just, to me, kind of tell the tale. So on the average, eight hours is spent in your bed out of your day. That's a third of your day, right? So now if, if you think about this, a third of your life is spent in your bed. That's kind of framing things a little bit differently, isn't it? And yet, People put off buying new one, okay? They don't like it, and they use it so much, but they put it off. Why do people put it off? It's expensive, right? Okay, it costs a ton of money. The average person spends a thousand dollars when they go and buy a new mattress. Okay, I know that seems like a ton of money to you guys, but that's what if people go to a mattress store, that's their average purchase. Okay, so some people spend like you can go to Sleep Number and spend like twelve grand. Okay. But the average person spends about a thousand. They might buy just a couple three hundred dollar cheap bed, but they might buy a really nice master bed. So it averages at about a thousand dollars. All right, but a lot of people don't have a thousand bucks sitting around, right? But what if they did? Let's say everybody had a thousand bucks sitting around. They're still putting it off, aren't they? Why? Because it takes time to choose a mattress and get a mattress to your home and then install the mattress. Okay, it's just a hassle. In other words, is what you're saying. There's all these different things I'd rather do. Okay. The other part of it, you really kind of hit on, what's your name? Trip. Trip? Trip. 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 Okay. <laughs> All right. Trip. Hit on something just there for a second, which is like, I, I don't know which one to pick. Okay, you gotta go pick one out. How do you pick out a new mattress? It's almost intimidating, isn't it? Okay, there's so many to pick from. Should I order online? Because there's so many people who do that. Should I go to a store? Which store should I go to? Do I want to deal with this easy mattress fix guy? Okay, all these things. And when people are confused or when people are, aren't confident, they don't act, right? So that's one reason why people put it on. And they're just like, I'd rather do this, I'd rather do that. I've got a bed, I hate it, but I'm, I'm fine, whatever, okay? So people put it off. So that's a big part of this. So that's why, and, and the other big part of it is it's the, it's the they don't like high pressure sales, okay? And that's almost always what you get when you walk into a store. Okay, and that's why the online sector is actually growing really fast, all right? So take our mattress sale, okay, your fundraiser, all right? First of all, you notice on your flyers and on all the signs that go out, it's up to 50% off, right? First of all, the only way we can do that is because we don't have a retail store. You guys know this, okay? We don't advertise with white tigers, okay? So we don't have to pay tigers, all right? All those things. But all those things bring down our expenses, which means we can sell the stuff cheap. All right? And instead of advertising on television and training tigers and all that stuff, we pay you guys to go talk about it for next customers. That's how this works. It's a really cool partnership. Okay? It's kind of a cool business model, isn't it? If you think about it. All right? This is how I, you know, 
Right? Travis is my full-time man now. He's an operations manager for our entire company. He started back in February. I, I have a full-time employee now and a family to support there. My family and I support with this. So it's a cool win-win situation because half of the profits go to you guys, half of the profits stay with us, and it's kind of, you know, the customer needs savings. So it's win-win-win, all right? So everybody gets why it happens. But the biggest reason I went through all that and what we started, the reason I started to go down that road was there's more people than we realize that really could use these metrics. And if you just put it to them in simple terms, it's just really gonna help us out. If you just come over, okay? Don't feel pressure to buy, but aunt, uncle, neighbor, somebody from church, a boss, another teacher, somebody your parents know, whatever, if you just talk to five or 10 of those, watch what happens. I bet you every single person in here can get one person to do it. And that's all you have to do, okay? So as far as fundraisers go, pretty easy, right? Okay, you just remember to that audience, like where's your reform? Okay, where's the money? You gotta go take this product to people, okay? All that stuff, no more, okay? All you have to do is find somebody who's done it before. And then the day of the fundraiser, what do you guys get to do? This is cool, the cool part. You get to wear the mattress, pass it, right? Okay, so literally, and I'll have sign-up sheets to Mr. Mohorn today, and he'll start everybody and stuff like that. He goes, I wanna blow this thing up this year, okay? And I'm gonna tell you, talk to you a little bit about the goals and things like that here in a second, but I wanna see your guys' group go up. I don't wanna see you guys be one of the groups that go down. But here's the thing, 68 or 69 beds got bought last year, and 200 students or whatever in the band. And like we saw, a lot of the people that came in and bought were just the people from your house, okay? Those people aren't there this year, are they? So that's what you call low-hanging fruit, right? Okay, you go out to an apple tree, you go pick the first apples, the lowest ones, and then those are gone. Okay, next, next time you go back to the apple tree, you gotta get a step back, okay? So you gotta try just a little harder. You gotta climb the ladder just a little bit, all right? So um, remember, Okay, if you get a mattress sold, what happens? You get 25 bucks, right? Okay, it's better to do this if you're in the All right, two is 50, but what's three? Three goes to 100, right? So it's bonus level. Four is 125, and five, 200 bucks. Okay, now we had somebody, um, who was it? Jake. Okay, I called him yesterday or Tuesday. I was like, Jake State Farm guy. Okay, so he, he was Jake from State Farm. Two days ago, he sold seven. Okay, so <laughs> right. But here's the thing: any one of you can do that, and here's why. Here's a here's what I call a shortcut, or, or my kid, my 18 year old, is always telling me, "Oh, Dad, I uncovered this new cheat code." Okay, in the video, right? So here's your cheat code. So um, you look at your flyer. We talked about this last year, but I want this to really sink in this year because I think this is what's going to take you guys to the next level. Look at your adjustable bed. You guys remember talking about these last year? Yeah. Okay, do you know, like, let me tell you about how awesome, like, how many people want these and what they do for people. Who knows somebody that snores? Okay, right? Okay, do you know if you raise your head up when you sleep just 7%, which is still a very comfortable sleeping position, because here's your flat, 7% is like that, okay? You raise yourself up 7%, it's a 76% reduction in snoring. It's pretty crazy, right? Okay. 7% incline keeps stomach acid down. So people that get heartburn at night can keep stomach acid down with one of these things that you can bet on. Okay? Anybody uh, know somebody, or maybe even you guys, bad lower back? Okay? These things put pressure relief on that lower back region, that sciatic region. Restless legs. Who likes to read in bed or watch TV in bed? Okay, these things are awesome for that. So let me tell you, these things are so popular right now. We sold a bunch of them last year. But I think we can do even better. And here's why I talk so much about them. Because if you sell one of these, or find somebody that wants to buy one of these that you know, and they come in and they actually buy one, it's usually for the master bedroom, right? Unfortunately, it's not the high school. <laughs> okay? Because they're not cheap. But when people come in, they usually buy a master bedroom, which is king, normally. So they need two of these things, right? So that those both count as mattresses. And then they buy the beds that go on top. Those both count as mattresses. So there's four beds just in one person's bed. And then you can be like Jake from Sigma, okay? Because you're already at four with just one, one person. What if you find people, somebody that, what if you find two people that want this? 
Okay? So that's why we, we did both. Okay? So it's 225, 250, $300, 325, and everybody remember number 10? $500 bucks, guys. Okay? We had like 10 sales last year, okay, out of our 35, where somebody made 500 bucks. Okay? Big from State Farm Cackle. Right? So that's out there for you. And guess what? This year we had these awesome new things. Okay, we talked about them in the in the meeting. So have you guys heard a little bit about the massage chairs? Yeah. Okay, Mr. Melhorn actually got to try one of these out. Okay. And I couldn't get them out of it for about 25 minutes. Okay? Because they are absolutely awesome. All right. The second I knew we could start to sell these, I put one in my house. And I am in it three times a day. Okay, so I'm in the morning drinking my coffee when I get up. I'm all groggy and I'm a little stiff or whatever. So it just loosens me up and it actually wakes me up really well. I drive like thousands and thousands of miles. So when I get home, I always have this cane right here on my shoulder. So I use the massage chair and it works right there. And then I usually, uh, there's a rest and sleep function where it kind of rocks you on to sleep without massaging you. And it starts to slowly get less and less and less. And then that just relaxes me as I go to sleep. So anyway, point being is they are fantastic. Find people that want them and get them to come try them because if you get one of these sold, it's three mattresses for you, okay? So do you see how fast you guys can add up to that and get that tends to all right? And here's why year two will go better. If we get people that get multiple people through the door, all right? The, think about it, the job is we've gotta get more. Everybody should be able to do that. But let's make sure that we, you know, talk about how do we get more and more and more because you guys can just, all right, and last year, um, if we sold 40, we buy a 32 inch TV. Well, this year we're doing a $250 Best Buy gift card so you can use on it wherever you want. If, you, if we sell 40 and you sold the bed, your name's in the drawing for the TV. If you sell a second bed, your name goes in the drawing five more times. A third bed, five more times. Okay, so it keeps going and going. Are you guys like brother, sister, or something? No. Okay. I'm like, I, I see you guys like scheming, like, we're gonna talk to this person, this person, this person. All right, so last year, um, we scared the 75 number a little bit, okay? 75 is kind of significant because that means your group, just the check that I write to our Battle West High Beat instrumental music is over $10,000. Last year it was like between nine and 10, okay? And with all the extra money that we raised, we raised over $10,000, but over $9,000 check on you guys, which is awesome, okay? But then I throw a $500 Best Buy gift card into the drawing for the TV, okay? So, Here's what we're amped about this year, all right? State records 103. You guys, there's 200 of them. Everybody, if only half of you got one person through the door, we'll get this. Literally, if only half of you got one person through the door, we'll get that, okay? If we hit 104, okay? First of all, you guys raised somewhere between 15 and 20 grand for your program. Okay, because the group that did 103 is a band in Colorado Springs that's smaller than you guys. Okay, and they made over they made over eighteen thousand dollars for the program. So, um, but if we hit 104, here's what I do for you guys: I cross off level one, and everybody gets to start at level two. So if we had 104 mattresses, everybody that sold a mattress has got a check for fifty bucks. So a second mattress, you're at a hundred, and so on and so. Forth. Okay? So you better like tell the people in your group, you better step up. Okay? Any questions? Okay? And I'm still geeked about your smart board. Did you guys know what you did? Yeah, holy cow. So anyway, um, let's get you guys, I, I, I usually I start this, I should have started this at the beginning. Um, this is where you can take out your cell phones. We're gonna give away 50 bucks today to two different people, okay? So everybody can win all this money, but right now you gotta get in the text contest, okay? So, you start a new text message. You text this number, okay? That's the number you're going to text, 797979. You are going to text the message just like this. It does not have to be all caps, I'm just writing it that way. But it has to be all one word. 
okay? Basically, your keyword is easy Denver, and it's the letters EZ, okay? Everybody laughed about this yesterday. Um, somebody forgot to type the letters and just, I don't know if it came in autocorrect, they, they typed out the word easy, okay? Denver, and then a testosterone supplement to add to the back of the email. So don't do that. Make sure it's easy, Z, and Denver, okay? Got it. Did somebody get the message back already? Okay, and then what's gonna happen, and here's the thing, you guys have until um, the end of, which period is it? Six. Six, okay, because at the end of six, I'm going to pick the winner, okay? So if you're not getting the message back right away, don't worry about it, it will come later, okay? As long as you text it in, your name's at least gonna be, your number's gonna at least be in the drawing, okay? But here's what you have to do. Who remembers, who remembers doing this last year? Okay, you have to take that message and forward it home right now to mom and dad. Okay, so or whenever you did, it's got to go home to mom and dad. And the only way I can pick and verify the winner is if I pick you. You have to show your phone that you did these two jobs. Okay, so you'll have to show me your text that you sent to mom and dad. Why do you think it's so critical that you send a text to mom and dad? Yep, that's step one. Okay. And then the guilt trip, I must say. The easy trip, just ahead. So step one is send it home to mom and dad, okay? Are more people getting the message now at least? Still some people are having it sent or waiting on it to come. Okay, it will come. What's really cool, you guys, is this year it's really big. Last year it was only 140 characters. This year you get a picture what the showroom looks like in one of the massage chairs and a whole bunch of information about it so it doesn't limit me to 140 characters. And then what you do, the step two, is you have to send it to four other adults besides mom and dad, okay? Now, there's some rules for that, all right? You can't send it to her parents. She just sent it to her parents, right? Okay, so you can't send it to each other's parents. You can't blow up Mr. Melhorn's phone, okay? That's not, that's not right, he knows everything about it. He really doesn't need that many messages on his phone. The other thing is, you can send it to other teachers, you can send it to aunts and uncles, you know, uh, grandmas, grandpas, things like that, neighbors, friends, parents that aren't in music, okay, things like that, but don't send it to people that actually couldn't come, don't send it to your aunt in Alaska, that's an uncle, okay? But that's four adults besides mom and dad, okay? And if you need help from mom and dad as far as some adults, you can, you have some time. All right, any questions on that? Okay. The other $50 I'm gonna award is to a Facebook owner, okay? So it, who can do Facebook? Who, who has Facebook? Trust me, you want to, because look how few people can do it, okay? You have a way better chance of winning that $50 than the text $50 as far as just sheer number, right? Okay, so if you're a Facebooker, this is what you need to do. You do a new search, okay, for CFS front range, it's all one word, just do that in the little search window, okay? And then you'll find our logo. There can't be any spaces, anything like that, just CFS front range. Once you find our page, open it and hold up your phone so I can make sure you found the right page, okay? Because I'll be able to see that you're on the right spot. Yep, 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 yep. Who else is there? Who's still working? Yep. You guys wanna do it, trust me. Okay, so there's five quick steps, okay? Step five takes a couple minutes, but. Um, this is similar to last year, but it's changed a little bit. If you haven't liked the page already, like our page, okay? These are the things, I'm gonna pick a winner that did the five steps, okay? Step two is find, okay, the A West event, all right? It's on October 21st, you just go to events, okay? and find your event page and open up your event page. And again, show me your phone so I can make sure you're on your event. Yep. Open up your event page on the 21st. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. Yep. Yep, it's good. It's so quiet. Look at this side chat. Okay. So here's what you need to do. Um, say that you're going to the event. Hit that little check mark, right? Everybody see that? And 
and then that activates the share arrow. Okay, so you hit the share arrow, and then you got a drop down menu. You have to pick the invite friends option. Okay, now if everybody did this right, okay, and this is where you don't get mad at me, you can be mad at Mr. Zuckerberg. Okay, all of your friends are sitting there. You have to hit eavesdrop. Okay, but here's the thing invite everybody. You can't pick and choose who to invite. You have to invite them all. No one's going to get mad at you for sending them a mattress fundraiser invite page because they can just scroll past it. If they get mad at you, they're not going to be able to thank you for anything. Okay. So invite everybody. I don't care if they are 12 years old or if they're you know 200 years old. It doesn't matter. Okay. I don't care if they live in Africa or they live here. That part doesn't matter. All right. It's in everybody. We want as many invites. We want the Facebook page kind of blowing up because the algorithm will start populating it all over. Okay, and that's how we get to it. All right, and then we have seven mattresses that we can ship anywhere in the country for free, any of the lower 48 states. Okay, what happens almost every fundraiser, somebody's grandma or somebody's aunt or somebody's you know former mom and dad's former high school whatever um, that lives in Arizona or lives in California or lives in Oklahoma whatever is like I need a mattress but I can't come to Colorado. Well, we can. If, they, if you find that, you get them in touch with me. My email's on all of your flyers. And then I will walk them through. There's three ways they can actually buy a mattress for you, okay? Or like for your, to count for you, okay? We can either have it shipped to them. They can go to one of our other 90 plus locations across the country and buy a mattress and count it for you. I just did that with somebody last week. Or um, uh, there's one other good thing, but it's a really small one. But there's three ways literally I can get them to get a mattress count. Okay, so that's why you find them. Um, what kind of questions you guys have? Is there anything to like sometimes it's hard for people to necessarily like the entire algorithm and that. Okay, so um, a couple ideas. If they're like, if there's somewhere like, gosh, we need a mattress, but we're not in town on the twenty first. Okay, first of all, I have eleven fundraisers after yours um, left this year. Okay, all, in all different parts of the state. Um, I go all the way out to Holyoke here in a couple weeks. Um, you guys know where Holyoke is? Holyoke is like, holy cow, it's way out there. It's at the border of like the northeast corner, or right next to Nebraska, okay? So that's where uh, Holyoke is. Um, but we have other fundraisers that are in the same general area. Uh, they can come into one of those and still count it for you, okay? Um, or if they wanna do the online thing or something like that, we can work with them on that. I don't have an online store, but I have a way that they can actually look at some of the selections online, and then they can, um, uh, I can help them get the mattress, okay? You, if they're interested in that, email me, okay? And then get me their contact information, I'll walk them through, okay? It's, it's very simple, but it's just, if they're interested, then we'll go through the process, okay? What other questions, guys? Records 103, and it was uh, when I ran that fundraiser down in Colorado Springs. My cousin has since taken over the Colorado Springs market, okay? So he's like, that's mine. He thinks he owns the record. Okay? I just want to shut him up. All right? And we have to hit 104. It's been like two years. Okay? He's been doing it for a year and a half. So I'm sick of him bragging about, well, we have the record in Colorado Springs. Okay? But we got it. You, got, you, got, you guys got it. What am I forgetting? Nothing. Things are good. Oh, who knows somebody that already has a pencil? Who's coming? Who knows somebody that's coming in to check out the, the fundraiser already? One? No worries. Yeah. You guys need one at help at home? Yeah. Okay. Next week. Don't make me come back next week. Okay? Next week when Mr. Melhorn says, who knows somebody that's coming in? That's what's gonna make this thing go boom. All right? You guys all know people. You just have to start talking about it. I don't care if you make fun of them. This is the dumbest one you've ever heard of. Where's home bed? You need a new mattress. It's a great deal. Okay? That's what happens. Okay? When they know it supports you, those 40% get off the couch that day and come look. Guess what else? There's no broccoli. 
And since you guys did so good, I gave Mr. Nolan one of my best games that everybody always wants. No Bronco game during the fall. Okay? So they play on Thursday night. So it's all there for you. All right, good luck. I'm excited.